Welcome to this tutorial on using a constraint in the ODK XLS form uh, format uh, that actually checks that the answer or the number that is entered into your ODK form by your data collector is greater than or equal to a certain value. Okay, so to uh, just start this tutorial, I've just got three questions. How many people are in this household? Very typical question in most uh, surveys or assessments that you'll run in the field. A follow-up question, how many females are in this household? And another follow-up question, how many pregnant or lactating females are in this household? Uh, so for each of these, I've just put the question type as integer, which just means I want them to enter a number. And I've given each of these uh, questions a name. And this is um, these names are going to be eventually your column uh, titles or the column names when you export your data after your data collector has um, finished collecting. These will be your column names in your final um, Excel file or your CSV file that's output. Okay, and under this column I've just put required. Yes, they must answer each of these questions. Okay, so in your constraint, so this is what we're going to be doing today, is in your constraint, um, what you're going to enter is how many people are in this household? Well, that number has got to be greater than zero. So I put point. Point represents the number that they enter. So point wants to be greater than zero because if there are zero people, there is no household. Why would you put this as a constraint? Just in case somebody accidentally bumps the zero key. Um, for example, if they're entering data and they put zero instead of two or um, or instead of another number, it's probably just an accident because obviously there are more than zero people in any household. Uh, but we just want to make sure that the uh, smartphone or whatever device they're using to collect the data will just warn them, hey, you entered zero and it has to be greater than zero. So the constraint message then, and I've just clarified that this will be in the English version of the form, um, will then pop up, pop up number of people must be greater than zero. Okay, very easy. And then how many females are in this household? Okay, so um, that could be any number. Um, you could put dot equals, or dot is greater than or equal to zero, so they might have zero females, okay? Um, and then um, you can put the same constraint uh, instead of number of people then you might just want to put number of women must be greater or equal to zero and that is how to put a constraint um, that either requires your answer to be greater than zero or greater than or equal to zero. Um, and zero you could put any number. So if you only want to be interviewing households that are um, three, house, uh, three people or greater, then you can actually put this as three and then you must say number of people must be greater than three. Um, and so you can um, really define this any way that you want and it depends on your methodology and your survey. Okay, I hope that's helpful and uh, we'll continue in the next tutorial looking at how do you make um, the answer relative to another answer. Yeah.